What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun with an off-meta trick room. Today, we are rocking out with Crab Abominable on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here is really cool. I'm a big fan of Trick Room teams. I usually play pretty well with Trick Room teams. And a lot of these Trick Room Pokemon are pretty meta. But Crab Bombadil is a Pokemon that I don't think I've seen on the rank ladder so far. So definitely going to be fun to rock out with this Pokemon and uh, try to grab some wins with it. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Ursluna. Obviously, this Pokemon is top tier in Trick Room, so it fits this team perfectly. It's got Flame Orb and Guts with Facade, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect. And our second slot is Vicapool, and I love using Vicapool Trick Room teams. This Pokemon just hits so hard on that special attack inside. It's got Levitate with the Throat Spray, and then it's got Bug Buzz, Discharge, Eerie Impulse, and Protect. In our third slot is going to be one of our Trick Room setters. It is going to be Ebo Light Duskoth. Just so bulky and a great Pokemon to set up the Trick Room. It's got Frisk as its ability, and then its moveset consists of Brick Break, Pain Split, Will-O-Wisp, and Trick Room. In our fourth slot is going to be our support Pokemon, and that is going to be Indeedee, with the Psychic Surge and a Terrain Extender to make the Psychic Terrain last a bit longer. It's got Psychic, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room for a great moveset for a support Indeedee. In our fifth slot, it is going to be the star of the show, Crab Bombable, the Fighting and Ice type Crab. It's got Hyper Cutter as its ability, and it's holding the Weakness Policy as item. So with Dust Cops, we can hit it with Brick Break, and we can get that plus two attack boost pretty easily. It's got Ice Hammer, Close Combat, Terror Blast, and Wide Guard to protect our team from double hitting moves. In our final slot, we got Torkoal. Cannot go wrong with Torkoal on any Trick Room team, and on top of that, it's a great Weather Setter. It's got Drought with the Assault Vest, and then Heat Wave Eruption. Flamethrower and Earth Power. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's go rock out with Crab Bombable on the rank ladder. First match on its way, and it is a brand new season. We drop back down the Great Ball tier. We're sitting 0 and 0, but we're still going up against top tier players who are probably in the master tier. But in our first match, we're going up against a Shen Pao and Flutter main team with Rillaboom, Tornadus, Urshu, and Sableye. So two support Pokemon, and the rest is pretty hyper offensive, right? So I feel like Dust Cops is going to be a solid Pokemon here. We can really rock out with him and pop a nice little bit Trick Room. Could definitely be good for us. We could also go into Indeed to be a Trick Room Center. Especially with two Prankster Pokemon and a few Pokemon first turn priority moves. I feel as Indeed he could be great. So you know what? I'm going to lead Indeed. I'm going to lead Indeed to get things started here. So I'll go Indeed for turn one. And I will also go into... We just Flame Orb or Saluna. Could definitely be good. If I feel like they're going to target down Indeed... And we could just set up a sword dance, which could be awesome for us. So I do like that. I definitely do like that. So I'm going to go into them too. I'm going to bring Crab Bombino in the back end. And I'm going to see this thing's stats real quick. So he's pretty high on the attack side. Oh my lord. Pretty high is an understatement. This thing's going to hit like a truck, especially if it gets weak to policy pop. But we might not pop it this turn. And then we'll go uh, with Vicavolt in our final slot. So we'll see if this works out here. Usually if I want to play Crab Bombino, I would rather lead... Dust Cops, but indeed he seems so good, especially with two pranks to put on the field. I don't want to get encored. I really don't want to get taunted. So again, this terrain works so well. It definitely works so well. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. I'm kind of hoping it's like Sableye and somebody else, or maybe like Rillaboom. I kind of do hope that they lead Rillaboom because my terrain will come out last. That'll work out perfectly. And they do end up leading Rillaboom. So that's, that's massive. That's massive. So we're going to be able to go into both of these right here. Swords of Ruin's going to pop. No problem. Grassy Surge is going to come out here, but we're just going to take away that terrain instantly. So that's actually not a bad start for us. Not a bad start. So Psychic Terrain out and about. We love it. We love it. And I could end up protecting... I could end up protecting them. But you know what? I'm going to go here. I'm going to Terrasize into Fairy Typing. I think that's a great typing for us. And I'm just going to pop a Sword Stance. I'm going to try to go plus two here early on. I'm going to definitely try to go plus two here early on. Because he can't fake me out. I'm going to change type so grass moves aren't super effective. And ice moves won't be super effective onto me. And I do believe them possibly thinking I'm protecting here. So if I can get off this sword stance, like I said, and pop trick room at the same time, it's lovely. And they go for a fake out. Oh my lord. They go for a fake out. Nice little crash is going to come across in the slot. Still going to chunk us up, but yo, I'm loving it. Nice little sword stance setup with Ursa Luna. 
and then Didi pops the trick room. Money, 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 money. All right. So big time plays for us. Uh, I think we just try to take out Robum here. I think we get rid of like Shen Pao maybe next turn. Bring out Crit Abominable. He's not a bad Pokemon. He's not a bad Pokemon. So I'm just gonna follow me a shot. I am just gonna facade and take out Robum. I don't want this Pokemon here. They could end up swapping Robum. That is an option. But they don't. So follow me comes out here. We're just gonna look to follow me and get as much value as we can with this plus two Ursaluna. And this thing's gonna be hitting like a truck. Like, <laughs> see you, Robum. Get it on out my face. <laughs> Not dealing with that Pokemon. So get rid of you. He's gonna end up going for an Ice Crash. Probably half my HP here. Yeah. And we'll go from there. So I could pop an EQ here. I could pop an EQ. Honestly, I might just EQ and. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He's gonna go into Urshifu. You can't use first turn priority moves. And now's a perfect turn for us to just take off. Oh no, we can't take off here. I was gonna say, take off your sash. But from here, follow me is gonna be the play, and I'm gonna facade and just get rid of the Urshifu. Gen Pao, I'm not too worried about. Really, I'm not too worried about. I could bring out Crab Bombable and just like wide guard next to Ursulina. Like, Ursulina's get a lot of value out these turns. But what I really want to happen here is just a nice little follow me. But they're gonna terrestrialize Shen Pao. Wow, what type of going? You're gonna go into you're gonna go into ghost. So good thing I did not attack him, right? With facade. Could have been real ugly. But I know he's sashed, so that's what's so annoying. He's gonna end up attacking, so I guess that's a smart play. It's not a bad play. I've seen I've seen better plays, but that's a pretty solid play. They end up going for follow me. They're gonna be able to take out my indeed here. So I trick him for a couple more turns. I think now is a good turn to bring out the crab abominable. Get him cooking. And from here, what do I do? Because I, I really want to send an EQ, right? I really do just want to send an EQ. And what did they... Didn't they miss an attack? So yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go EQ. And I'm going to go Psychic. Actually, who's slower? Indeed, are you slower? By any chance? 83, you're not. I really just want to EQ. You know, let's just helping hand EQ. How many turns are left in this trick room? Two. That's not too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go helping hand. I'm just gonna send an EQ. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. I'm doing some big time damage here. Helping hand EQ coming out here. I'm gonna try to clear out this whole field. Chances are he sash. He's gonna go for a double detect. That's not bad. And EQ's gonna fly. So we get off this big time EQ and the damage output is insane. So we get rid of Urshru, we take out our Ndidi and we sash up here. He's gonna go for probably a nice little crash here and probably take out my Ursaluna. Did we not take out the, the Urshru? Okay, yeah we did. I was gonna say, why is that Pokemon still on the field? And there's the Iso crash and that probably chaos us, right? Yeah, so that's not a big deal. We have one more turn left in Trick Room. They could end up protecting. We got Crab Bombable. Got... Hmm. I wish I had Terra still, but we got some value off with our Terra. But we got one turn left to trick him. We got Crab Bombable, and we also have Vicavolt here. Vicavolt. With the bug typing. He's got to throw out their last Pokemon, which is going to be Fluttermane. This is where things get uh, a little tough for us. Because we have one turn left in Trick Room. They can both protect. I'm going to have to go for an Ice Hammer here. Could go wide guard maybe. I'm gonna go for ice hammer and I'm gonna look to just go for try to discharge. I should have bug buzz and try to take out the Shen Pao. Hopefully none of them protect. There's one protect. Show me only you you're protecting. Let me get rid of Shen Pao. The double protect. Alright, so double protect flies through here. It's where things get really, really tough. Really tough. Because Icicle Crash does big time damage. And we're out of Trick Room turns. With my crab on the field. With the crab on the field. And they have super effective moves on both, both of us. Could go for a wide guard, or I can just look to soak up a shot. Which would be lovely. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go Bug Buzz. I'm going to go Crab Hammer, or Ice Hammer, and... Try to soak up some shots here, but I don't know how this is gonna play out here. Sucker Punch is gonna fly through here. That's not too bad. We end up soaking that shot up. He's gonna go for a gleam. So I'm able to soak up the gleam. 
And I got weakness policy. I'm really gonna lose this match. And why could he go for a sucker punch? Oh, because I'm not on the ground. Maybe he... Oh, wait a minute. This might work out good. This might work out good. This should KO, which it does. And they went for a sucker punch. Onto Vickable. And normally that won't work because of the psychic terrain. Normally that wouldn't work because of the psychic terrain. But since Vickable is in the air with Levitate, right? You have Levitate. Yeah. He doesn't get affected by the terrain. So maybe, just maybe, they're going to go for another Sucker Punch. And it won't affect my Crab, crab Bombable. No, they go for Secret Sword. Rough. That's real rough. But hey. Match number one, we'll take that to the shin. Two meta Pokemon coming in the back end, cleaning it up. Kind of sucks on our end, but we'll start off 1-0. We got these Crab Abominable a little bit. Let's go grab ourselves our first win. Second match on its way, and we're going up against a Trick Room team. So we got Trick Room versus Trick Room here in match number one. I definitely want to try to lead Crab Abominable and maybe lead it with Dusclops because I could pop a weakness policy on a crab abominable with that and on top of that i can throw some will wisp left and right and kind of get after the match that way so that's something i really really like i'm gonna go in with you i'm also gonna go in with you and do you have grass terror type kind of don't like that because fire types really rip into you but i think at your point we can really just start getting after it right right i like you i like you so i'm gonna go in with both of them in the back end i'm gonna bring ursaluna and i think i might just bring torkoal right torkoal rips Torkoal rips, especially within the trick room. Or I could go maybe like Vickabolt. They do have Urshfu. But you know what? I like I like Torkoal here. I like Torkoal. I really do like Torkoal. We got the vest on them. They got a few special attackers. I'm down to get after it with Torkoal. So hopefully we get to use Crab Abominable a little bit better here. We actually probably could have won that first match if I would have just went for a wide guard and a bug buzz. Because wide guard would have blocked the dash and gleam. The turn after he probably would have went for another dash and green and crab bomb and would have soaked. And we could have KO'd the Fluttermane and the Shen Pao. But hey, it'd be like that. They end up leading Urshfu, which isn't too bad. I mean, Trick Room's definitely our best bet here. And he's probably just going to fake me out, right? I might just go Grass Terror Blast here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pull off a Grass Terror Blast. Um, if he fakes me out, he fakes me out. It's not that big of a deal. Because at that point, we could just kind of start attacking them. But I like the Grass Terror here. It keeps us away from the Fighting type moves and the Water type moves. Coming into the Crab Abominable. <coughs> Plus, it will allow us to kind of set up Trick Room. So we're just going to end up going for certain Strikes and doubling down into Dusclops, I think. That's not bad at all, because look how, look how much this boy soaks. Yo, Dusclops is so bulky for no reason. <laughs> Insanely bulky. That's why it's such a good Trick Room setter. So he ends up going for a heavy slam into that. We soaked that as well. Easily. And we got off a big time turn. So crab abominable. Ripping. Getting after it. Terror Blast coming hot here. Almost picking up the KO. But more importantly, we get off this trick. We get off this massive trick. So something that I want to do here. I mean, I should probably KO you first, right? I'm going to throw a Will-O-Wisp over onto you. I think they might swap Urshifu. And if they swap Urshifu, I think this would be a good turn to actually just maybe drop an Ice Hammer into this slot. Because I can get the speed drop. And who could they swap into? They could swap into Armourge, actually. But still, I want to throw a Will-O-Wisp into you. I could actually Pain Split you for some HP, but I really want to get off a of Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to do that, and again, I'm just going to throw an Ice Hammer in this slot. Just going to throw an Ice Slam. Hammer. He could go for Aqua Jet. That is an option, but he ends up withdrawing. I think he might go into Armourge here. Which is okay at that point. But I'm kind of hoping it's something that's going to take a big shot to this ice move. And yeah, it is going to go Armourish. So Armourish comes out here. We end up landing the will -Bus on the Iron Hands, which is massive. Which is big time. And then this Ice Hammer will come out. And something that's good about the Ice Hammer is it lowers speed. And by lowering our speed in the Trick Room, it just makes us faster. The Wild Charge is going to fly through here. We're going to be able to soak that, which is awesome. And I think I just pain split the, uh... I think I just pain split the... the Iron Hands. Get some HP back. Or I could go into... Nah, yeah, pain splits are best bet. 
I'm gonna pain split, get some HP back, and I'm gonna go for close combat. Could actually hard swap Crab Abominable at this point. Maybe just go in like Torkoal or maybe even Ursa Luna. What, what should I do here? What should I do? I might just let Crab Abominable go down. But you know what? No, we're just gonna look to do as much damage as we possibly can. So I'm just gonna go for close combat here. If Crab Abominable dies, it's not that big of a deal. But he ends up withdrawing the iron. And there's no way you go back into Urshifu, right? There's just no shot you go back into Urshifu. No, you go into your Ursaluna, which is totally fine. So we pain split, we get back a ton of HP, and we put this thing down like half. So Dust Cop's getting some work done. Close combat flying through here. Doing not bad damage for a not very effective move. And chances are he's just going to armor cannon and finish me off, right? Heat wave. Can we soak that? Probably not, right? Yeah, I knew you weren't. I knew you weren't. So they have two special attackers out here on the field. Um, now, we could bring out... Hmm. Look, I got Torkoal. Do we think that thing's flash fired? Most likely. Most likely he's flash fired. And what's your speed? You're so slow. There's no way that Ursuline is faster than us. You are so slow, Torkoal. At 22, we're bringing out Torkoal. We're bringing out Torkoal. That's one thing I don't like about the Crab Abominable is it's terror type. Like, we're weak to fire both times, like on both things. Um. Huh, how many turns are left in this trick room? Two. I might just Earth Power to Armor, to be honest with you. Well, you know, we're gonna go Brick Break. And I'm just gonna erupt. Yeah, I'm just gonna erupt here. You son of a biscuit. Wide guard coming out here. You drop an EQ as well. Oh no. Wide guard, really? You got wide guard? This could be tough news for us. This could be real tough news for us. How much damage is Brick Brick doing? That's the real question. Negative five. Earth power is gonna take out my torque. Purple survives. Torkoal survives. Torkoal survives. I have my bear in the back end. I'm gonna earth power into him. He goes for another wide guard. Cool. He goes for another Y guard. How much damage is Brick Brick gonna do here? How much damage is Brick Brick gonna do? It's not gonna do much. It's not gonna do much, but I'll take whatever damage we can get. But now we gotta worry about. Are you weakness policy? Did I just trigger weakness policy? That's absurd. Of course, you're weakness policy. And are you going for Hyper Voice? You are. Which can hit my dust cops because of mine's high ability. Okay. So now at least we have the sun. And what I'm thinking of doing is just pop an EQ, right? What we gotta do, because they're gonna they're gonna hyper voice and surgeon strikes me. And I'm hoping we can just soak because of the sun, right? That's something I'm hoping, because Trick Room's over. And how fast is my Ursaluna? That's the real question. Can you outspeed their Ursula? I doubt you can because you're 55 speed. And from here, I'd rather just try to KO you with Brick Break. But I mean, EQ's gonna KO probably both. So I'm just gonna go for an EQ. I'm gonna go for an EQ because I think he goes for Hyper Voice and Surgeon Strikes. Right? That's He's gotta be going for Hyper Voice and Surgeon Strikes. So we'll see a Terra come out here probably from, oh no, from you going straight water. He's looking to do some big time damage. Can we soak? This is what it really comes down to. If we can soak or not. Surgeon Strike's coming out here. That's looking scary. How much damage is this doing? It's not bad. That's not bad. You're gonna half us. Maybe a little bit more than half us. Yeah, a little bit more. Can we eat up the Hyper Voice? I don't think we can. That's the problem here. Oh, I outspeed. I outspeed. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. 
I was gonna say we have to soak up this hyper voice, but my Ursaluna is outspeeding their Ursaluna, and that works out perfectly. So we end up picking up the double KO, and that is gonna be the match. So one to one for today's video. Our Trick Room team out Trick Room's their Trick Room team, and we take that win with this Kurt Bombable squad. Final match on its way. We'd love to grab ourselves a winning record. We're sitting one and one, but something that happened at the end of the last battle that you guys probably noticed is after I picked up the double KO with Ursaluna, they still had one more Pokemon left, and I ended up stopped recording and finished out the battle, but I totally forgot about their last Pokemon. It was the burned Iron Hands, and what ended up happening was Iron Hands hit our Ursaluna with a Drain Punch. It didn't do that much damage because it was burned, and then my Ursaluna just ended up dropping it with an EQ. So, we won the battle regardless. We're sitting one and one. We're in our third and final match going up against straight meta, right? We got we to gotta pop Trick Room, and I think Dusclops is going to be a good lead here. Maybe even Indeedee could be a solid lead here. Because the terrain is going to help us dodge any, like, prankster moves or first turn priority moves. So, I do like Indeedee coming out here for the lead. So, I'm going to go Indeedee for the lead. And I think I'm also going to go in with maybe, like, Vickable, right? Could go Vickable. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up. Could actually go Torkoal. Maybe even Ursaluna. But I like Vickable. We're gonna go Vickable here. I'm gonna bring Crap Bombable in the back end. And then last but not least, either Torkoal or Ursaluna. And I feel as Torkoal is gonna be good, especially up against the Water Ogre Pond and other Pokemon, because we do set the weather. We do set the weather. We got some moves that can actually just KO a lot of Pokemon. I mean,. Any fire move inside that drought is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. But then we also have Earth Power to deal with, like, the Iron Hands and whatnot. Be super effective onto the Golden Go as well. But Torkoal is just super effective onto a lot and can do big damage with all of its fire moves. But they end up going Golden Go and Arcanine. So I'm going to go here. Um, hmm. Something that's scaring me is that Golden Go, right? That Golden Go is scaring me. You can't hit me with a Shadow Ball because I'm part of normal type. Um, definitely just want to try to pop Trick Room. I could Terrastalize in a straight fairy, but if you're going for like a steel move, that could be a problem. Well, uh, Crab Abominable could have been pretty good here. Well, I'm just going to end up protecting Vickable. Hopefully they don't double down to my Ndidi. Really hoping they don't double down to my Ndidi. So we're going to see a probably Steel Terror on his gold to go here, right? Oh, Arcanine's going to Terrastalize. Into what? Into straight fairy. So he gets cooking with the fairy type, which doesn't really make much sense to me, right? Why are you going fairy terror type? You hit the wrong terror type? I'm confused here. Fairy terror type. For what purpose here? He ends up going for a rock slide. It actually does a good amount of damage to me. He's going to go for a make it rain. Can you soak this up, Indeedee? Indeedee, please. Please, I need you here. You do soak it up. I love you. Don't flinch. Do not flinch. Oh my lord, I would cry. We're going to lose this match now. We're going to lose this match to a flinch. We're losing this match to a flinch now. What can I do here? We're gonna lose this to a flinch. I think I jinxed myself on that. You know, we're gonna go helping hand here. And I'm just gonna discharge. Wow, we flinched? That really hurts. End up withdrawing gold to go. Not bad, he's gonna drop a rock slide. Iron hand's gonna come out here. That oh, hurts the soul, man. My soul's just hurting. Really hurting. Really hurting. Rockside's gonna come in here. Who dodged it? Did Indeedee dodge it? Okay, Vickable dodge it. I was gonna say, if Indeedee dodged and I could have popped Trick Room, that would've been massive, but we really flinched there, and we're not able to get off our Terra. We're not a Terra, our Trick Room. That's so bad. That's so bad. Um, but from here, crap, Bombadil's not bad, right? I could wide guard and start attacking. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into crap bombable here. Are you kidding? We're trying we're trying to win this one here. 
We're trying to win this one here. I think Wyguard's gonna be a play because Rock Slide's looking a little scary. And I could just go for another Discharge. We go for Bug Buzz. Uh, I think Discharge is gonna be a play. It's a Rasslice and a Rock, but what does that really do for us? Nothing really. So I'm just gonna go for a Discharge. Try to finish off this arc. Let's try to finish off the Arcanine. So Wyguard's gonna come out here. He's gotta be going for a Rock Slide, right? I can't believe we flinched there. It's so upsetting when stuff like that happens. It's so upsetting. He ends up withdrawing Arcanine. Alright, you got you gonna go back into Golden Go? Are you drain punching my crap bomb? Well, leave him alone. Leave the Krabby Boy alone. There you are. Krabby Boy soaks though, which is good. I'm gonna get back some HP. I'm weak as possible just now, but it's it's scary around here. It's scary without Trick Room. So this charge is gonna fly. My Crab Bobbin was gonna stay here with that protect. And we'll do some damage onto both of them. Oh man. Brutal. It's brutal. It's brutal. Flinches left and right. Um I would love to just go for an ice hammer. Get off some damage, but and then just go for another discharge, I guess. This is so tough. This is so tough. This is real tough. But yeah, we're definitely gonna lose this one, but we can't get swept. We can't get swept. We have we have to we have to get after this one. The first match came down to the wire. We ended up losing it by one HP of focus dash on the Shen Pal. And the uh the Flutter main doing work onto us. And second match, we ended up winning, but this third match, I feel like we would have won pretty hands hands down, right? I think we would have won would have won pretty handily here. If we would have gotten that off. He's gonna end up drain punching me, finishing me off. He's nasty plot boosted. Um, I am gonna bring out the Torkoal here. And I think my play with the Torkoal would just be to just erupt, right? Maybe even Terrasalize erupt. And protect the Vicable. That's gotta be my play. Can we get a paralyze and golden go? A little something. No, we don't get that lucky. They get flinches left and right. We we get nothing. We get nothing. So now from here, we get to bring out the lovely little Torkoal. Probably gonna fire terror, right? Probably your best bet to fire terror. Drought out and about. Beautiful. Wish we did have protect on him, but we are rocking the soul best. But obviously, I'm gonna erupt here. And this is just a simple protect, right? Yeah, because make it rain hits this thing. We're gone. So I'd rather just try to get rid of the golden go. So I'm terrasalizing. I'm looking to do an insane amount of damage. <laughs> I want to do a good chunk of damage. And just start ripping. Torkoal is here. Torkoal came to play. Get it, Torkoal. Protecting the Vicable. They might just be doubling down into the... There's the make it rain. Torkoal, how much damage is this doing to you? I get he's plus two. Choke pretty well. You going for Drain Punch as well? You are. Can you soak that? You do. Torko, I love you. So no need to actually protect. We probably shouldn't have protected it. But I feel as Eruption should be able to do a good amount of damage here. So we're not going to get swept, which is which is key here. It is key. Really didn't KO that? We really didn't KO that? That's absurd. That's absurd. We really didn't KO there. Ah, I get Eruption does less damage, but still, I should have been able to KO. Should have been able to KO. So we're looking to rip another Discharge. I'm probably going for another Make It Rain. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Make It Rain comes out here. Torkoal's dead. Pickable. Can you soak up whatever? We don't want to get swept. <laughs> we don't want to get swept. But yeah, I probably should I probably should have thought about Torkoal being slow and popping eruption. I probably should have just went for a straight heat leave. That was kind of a bad play on our end. But Vicavolt's able to soak and we're not getting swept. Thank you very much. Oh my lord. Just an absolute mess of a third and final battle. Absolute mess. We're gonna go one and two for today's video, but still. Probably should have went at least two and one for today's video. We lost by one HP in the match number one. And this one we get flinched, and that's just really tough for a trick squad, right?
really tough for Trick Room Squad. Arcanine comes out here. I'm just going to run this one. We're going to go one and two for today's video. I'm not dealing with this Arcanine dropping a rock slide on my head. But uh, there you guys go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A one and two losing record to get the season started. Played okay with this team today. Made a few bad plays, especially in match number three. Dropping that eruption when it should have been a heat wave. But I think regardless, we were definitely losing that battle. But I'll take a one two losing record all day long. Because honestly, I thought we played pretty well. Match number one came really, really close. The third match, I don't even want to talk about that flinch because it annoys me so much. And I think we would have won if we would have just got that trick and rub. We had Vicky Volt ready to thrive. We had Twerkel, Crap Bombable ready to get after it. All that they needed was trick to go through and then we flinched on that turn but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread the positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody